Good kitten internet. Hmm, camera's tilted, sorry. Uh, actually, I should probably tighten that down a little bit more. There we go. Gotta make sure the selfie stick's working right. So, as you can tell, it's not snowing today, unlike yesterday. Uh, it's currently, what, 12 degrees outside? Uh, not sure what that is in freedom units off the top of my head, but, yep. Yeah. It's kind of bright, a little on the hazy side. A little on the cool side. Hmm, actually, maybe I should have a jacket with me, just in case. Yeah, let's be right back. All right, let's try this again, shall we? So, jacket's in the backpack for reference. I'm not gonna wear it because it's actually quite nice outside to me. Besides, I'm wearing long pants. That's close enough at the moment. Also, the reason why the backpack's sticking up is that I have, um, will you be able to see it? It's directly behind my head. Nope, don't think so, but there's an umbrella in there. I learned my lesson from last time I did this where I got caught in a rainstorm. Not the most pleasant experience. So, how goes? Um, the previous video where I talk about keeps is online, as of at this point about a couple of hours ago. <sighs> Alright, about to cross the divide between the haves and the haves not on internet access. A lot of people out today. Have to be careful. Don't want to record people without their permission, after all. <sighs> so, I don't really know what I do when it comes to vlogs. Just kind of talk and ramble until words come out. I'm now on the side of actually having fiber internet because that's how close the border is to my house. <sighs> actually, if you put it on a map, with north being the upper part of the map, the area of my neighborhood that has fiber has this weird little dip in it. I live in said dip like they knew and went, hmm, we don't want the Sather Spoon guy to actually have enough bandwidth to do what he wants. So, screw that guy in particular. <sighs> um, what else has been going on? So this is actually the first walk I've taken in a while now, so I'm going to be more out of breath than normal, especially since I'm holding a selfie stick. I didn't even bother taking headphones, just realized. Hmm. Might be a mistake. And today's walking objective is simple. I am walking to get ice cream. Now, if I feel up for continuing past that, that's the reason for the backpack, so I can continue walking to the grocery store. Otherwise, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I should probably talk about why I haven't been walking lately kind of alluded to it a little bit in the first vlog, but, um, so I posted a little bit about this during non-Vita season, but a lot of people don't watch my videos outside of Vita or Let's Plays. I have been having more medical issues as of late, and my most recent bit of medical issues comes thanks to the medication that I'm on for high blood pressure. Um, this would have been December. I had a huge amount of pain in my feet, specifically one foot. Um, turns out, long story very short, I had both a plantar fasciitis attack and a gout attack at the same time. Um, my gout is extremely painful. I, It's comparable a little bit less level of pain than a kidney stone for me, so not great. Ooh, big puppy up ahead. Let me go pause this. 
fun fact, apparently the remote button on my selfie stick doesn't unpause, it stops the recording. Anyway, I already have to edit this to begin with. So, yeah, so the plantar fasciitis is because my feet are flat. And by this being winter, I wasn't walking around as much outdoors, I was walking indoors, which means that I was barefoot. And flat feet, walking around barefoot, apparently a bad combination. So I finally got a hold of a podiatrist. They basically told me, yeah, I'm not allowed to walk around barefoot anymore. Here's some recommendations for sandals that you can wear indoors, and we're going to fashion you a foot insert. Meanwhile, the gout was caught, as I mentioned, was caused by my high blood pressure medication. And it's a common side effect. So for my for controlling my high blood pressure, I was on a uh, editor me can post a picture of this because I took a picture back when I was dealing with all of this, but um I was on a cocktail of prescriptions basically three different medications for treating high blood pressure that, when they're all combined, work really well. Unfortunately, one of those pills was a diuretic. A diuretic removes, uh, reduces the amount of water in your blood system, which means that everything else in your blood system becomes more concentrated, which includes the uric acid crystals that cause gout. So, if you are already somewhat predisposed toward kidney issues, like I am, you may have some uric acid crystals going through your bloodstream already, and reduce the amount of water, and all of a sudden they become a major problem. Um, we had reduced the medication level of that diuretic, and it had been fine for a year, but apparently that wasn't enough. So I've had a whole bunch of blood pressure med changes, which unfortunately mean a whole bunch of new side effects. Those side effects include foot swelling and leg swelling. I'm actually dealing with the leg swelling still. So back to the plantar fasciitis, I received my inserts and they're okay. Actually in my winter boots, which are clod hoppers to put it mildly, they actually fit really well but they don't quite fit right in my normal shoes. So two reasons. One, my shoes are a little narrower than I prefer. I basically have square feet, so I have extremely wide shoes. I cannot actually buy wider shoes easily. So, the little bit of swelling, which would be reason number two, on top of the insert that was trying to shove my feet off to the sides, equated into me crunching all of my toes when I was walking. I could walk maybe 10 minutes at a time at most in those. Anything past that was very painful. So I am back to not using the inserts. My feet are still a little swollen, but without the inserts, it's not as bad. I may end up having to buy new shoes again after finally finding a pair of shoes that actually fit comfortably. Cool. And because of that, I haven't been really walking all that much lately, which is unfortunate because it's my primary form of exercise. I mean, my feet are already hurting like I've gone on a long walk and it's been, what, six minutes, seven? <sighs> so I have to build that back up again, which is cool. Doesn't help that I started gaining even more weight because I've been completely sedentary. Not been a great time in the healthcare woes of the spoon. Um, on top of that, the weather hasn't exactly been conducive for doing something like this because I'm working. Which means that I can't exactly. Well, my time, my free time, quote unquote, is far more limited now than it used to be, which is weird. So I started work back up at the start of this year. Uh, the first Monday of the year was actually my first day back at work. And I have a relatively normal 8 to 5 style of schedule where I take an hour lunch break in the middle. I work from home at the moment, 
So, not really going anywhere for lunch. That is actually another reason why I'm taking this walk, is to see if Michael's is actually serving food or not. If they are, sweet. And if they're not, well, that's one fewer place I can go if I wanted to go someplace for lunch. And in fact, that's probably the only place I'd be able to pull off without lengthening my lunch even further and making me work later. So anyway, um, I'm done with work at 17-ish. And ah, my wrist is not happy with me. From there, I take my shower. That's my... I can't remember what the name of the concept is now, but the idea of going through a portal or having a physical change of location from work to home, what I end up doing is I take a shower at that point. And showers are very relaxing for me. And I have a tendency to fall asleep in showers, so... <sighs> laying down for a bit, taking a shower, that's... By the time I'm done with that and dinner, it's probably close to about 18, 18.30. So, from there, my brain is tired, I don't want to do anything, I kind of just stare at a wall for two days a week. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I have things have to work immediately, so I can't have the opportunity to do that. And Tuesdays are actually the day that I prep for role-playing when I'm running a game, which I will hopefully not be running a game for a while soon. Um, yeah. Long story short, outside of weekends, I basically have about six hours to myself a week, and most of that time is spent recovering from the rest of the week. Or preparing for the rest of the week. So, not the greatest. I need a better work-life balance, and I don't know how to do that while working full-time. It may end up involving me shrinking my lunch break, I don't know. I'm just doing the hour-long lunch break because that's what was recommended to me at the start. I may end up shifting that. Hmm. Okay, there's more people nearby and I'm getting tired of holding this. Be back in a bit. So I may have made myself a little cold by eating a bunch of ice cream. Oh well. Um, just walking back home. My feet were very unhappy with me. I think they might be swollen from medication a little too much. So, just heading home. Uh, let's see. What was I talking about? Uh, medication crap. Uh, not being able to walk as much. I should probably go in a little more de detail about my trip, but eh, I can do that another time. Um, yeah, probably not much else. So... I guess this is me signing off, and I didn't feel like pulling out the selfie stick. I'll talk to you later, Internet. Bye! How dare I? I didn't include a kitty in the video at all. Oh. I wasn't actually trying to disturb you, I see. Just needed to include a kitty. Meow. Okay, getting included.